I'm Danny Nightmare. And I'm Monster Face. And tonight we're doing the final chapter. We've done the Demonic Toys. We've done Doll Man. We've done Bad Channels. Now we're gonna wrap it all up. While we review Doll Man versus the Demonic Toys. Made in 1993, directed by Charles Ban himself. Yeah, he actually uses his real name on this one. Yeah. This fun, action-packed, full moon crossover has a bitchin' soundtrack. Yeah, it's got several songs by Quiet Riot. So that's rockin'. Come on, play with the toys. Girls, rock the doll man. Gonna be wild. Tracy Scoggins comes back to repraise her role as Judith Gray. But instead of out being a mom like she's supposed to be, she's obsessed with that frickin' toy store. Yeah, why the hell would you ever go back there? And it was such a miracle to, like, you know, get to have your ghost baby, like, you get to see how old he is when he's, like, what, oh, nine years old? But now you just kind of abandoned him with your sister? Go be a mom. Stop worrying about this stupid-ass toy store. Yeah, and what is with this toy store? Why does it attract homeless people so much? Seems like everything was gonna be fine until drunk ass fell on his head. <laughs> Yeah, I don't, see, there was no real reason for her to be staking out this place. It's kind of a huge coincidence that she shows up right when that dude falls off the trike and kills himself. And the security guard that was obsessed with the polka music from Bad Channels, uh, well, he's dead. But now we got a new security guard. Hey, is that Phil Fadogro? Yeah, you know him from, like, everything. Cornell of Blood, Land of the Dead, Willow. Yeah, dude, that guy's in everything. And, of course, we got the doll man himself. Tim Thomerson. And his girlfriend, Bunny! No, 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 no. Wait, Bunny's not in this movie? No, see, Bunny was like in high school. She wouldn't have ended up with him. That doesn't make sense, right? But she was the only one who didn't get turned back to normal in the end of Bad Channels. If it's not her, then who is it? It's Melissa Bear coming back as Nurse Ginger. So Dollman just scored himself a normal-sized woman? No. She's small, like him. But that's not, that doesn't make any sense. When she got turned back to normal size, they used her germicell to kill the monster. She, it was Bunny who still shrunk. It was, wasn't it? Maybe the actress just couldn't, like, come back for the role and they had to, like, switch it. You know, I watched this movie with commentary and it had both Charles Bannon and Tim Thomerson and neither of them mentioned it. So I'm not 100% sure why she's not back. I don't like it when things don't make sense. Yeah, it's kind of a nuisance. Oh well, we'll just, we'll move on. And uh, speaking of people who didn't come back, Grizzly Teddy's nowhere in this movie. Well that's okay, cause this time we get an evil G.I. Joe. Yeah, it reminds me kind of that guy from Small Soldiers. Small Soldiers is some, pretty much a horror movie itself anyways. Yeah, pretty much. But you still get your robot. The iconic Jack in the Box that everyone's afraid of. I love that Jack in the Box, but sometimes I just wish somebody would shut him the hell up. And Baby Oopsie Daisy's back. And boy is he more foul mouthed than ever. Wait a minute, he's a boy? He's a guy in this one. No he's not. My hot baby's no boy. No, he's a guy. Well, his voice is weird and different. What the heck? He's voiced by Frank Weckler, and he's like a horny little pervy baby in this one. My sweet baby Oopsie Daisy, no dude. She's voiced by Linda Cook. And remember, she kept being like upset that her makeup was getting ruined. Yeah, in the first movie. But in this movie, it's a dude. Like a very rapey baby dude. Ah, uh, no! Ow! Whoa! It's blowing my mind! What the hell's going on? Too many things are changing. I have to agree. I don't like it! Explain to me how this is happening! Uh, some sort of time riff, I guess. You know, some would-be Marty McFly went back in time and fucked shit up, and now everything's slightly different than the way we remember it. Ah! Uh, you know? That actually kind of makes sense. Okay. Alright. I, I can live with that. I just- I need answers. That, that, that works. I'll make it work. Yeah, sure. Whatever helps. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, whenever you notice something like that, a wizard did it. I see. All right, yes. But in episode AG4... Wizard. Ah, uh, for Glavin out. I have to say, those giant sets are pretty fucking cool. Yeah, they go all out in this movie. In Dollman, there was some giant sets a little bit here and there, but no, nothing compared to how it is in this movie. We got a giant kitchen table, giant and normal sized toy store, depending on whose uh, view you're looking at. And overall, it's a pretty badass movie. I only have a couple of gripes with it. For one, this movie's really short. Yeah, I mean, it's like 64 minutes, but then you got the opening credits, and then you got the ending credits, 
and then you take away all the other times where they're just kind of rehashing the old movies, that's three different movies. There's at least one recap for Bad Channels, one recap for Doll Man, and I believe two recaps for Demonic Toys. That's a lot to sit through if you've just watched those movies. Exactly. If you're going to marathon all of four of these movies, when you get to this last one, you might want to have that remote handy so you can fast forward through some of these recaps. But the movie starts with footage of the stinger that was after credits from Bad Channels. Yeah, Doll Man's in the desert and now he's looking for Nurse Ginger, I guess? Yeah, it's Nurse Ginger this time. Anyways, he's on his way to Pahuta. Now Tracy Scoggins is also trying to find her. Pahuta? Pahuta. Pahuta. Between that guy, Doll Man, Giant Spider, and Scoggins herself, seems like Ginger gets no privacy in her own home. I'm gonna clean up that spider guts. Ugh. Guess it'd be kind of hard to live in your normal sized house when you're, you know, a foot tall. Sometimes I question in these movies if they know exactly what a foot tall is, though. Yeah, it seems to vary. Anyways, Doll Man saves the day and splats the spider. And then, you know, quickly wins uh, Ginger's heart. But then Tracy Scoggins shows up and the girls get catty, of course. She wants Doll Man's help taking down the evil little tots. And Nurse Ginger says she's going along just in case she has to patch somebody up. I guess it kind of makes more sense that it's Nurse Ginger now. I mean, why would a high schooler tag along? Why do things keep changing? Speaking of changing, did you get a new nose? What? No, this is the same nose I always had. It's like brown. So? I could have swore you had a green nose. I mean, remember when we compared it to that weird green foamy stuff in Bad Channels? Uh, no. Wait, I do kind of remember that. But my nose has always been brown. I feel like can't remember things right. It's kind of starting to freak me out. Anyways, before we get too spoilery, I have to say I really like this movie. It, I loved it a lot more as a kid than I do now. Yeah, I remember it being great. Like, really great. And now, yeah, I, I love the action between Doll Man and the demonic toys of the giant set. I love the fact that they tie up all three movies, even though now it doesn't make a whole lot of sense the way they did it. I, you know, I still really enjoy it. Really good cast. Good acting all around. So I'm gonna have to say, definitely see it. Now, do I think this is a better movie than the three movies that came from it? Not so much, especially going back and watching it again nowadays. It doesn't hold up quite as good as those three, but it's definitely a fun crossover. So the three of them break into this toy store with security guard, you know, he's checking out porn, which apparently what security guards do at this toy store. It's like a tradition. But unfortunately that's gonna be like the only nudity you get in this film. Nurse Ginger doesn't show off the goods. No. Tracy Scoggins no there, right? Though somehow she looks hotter in this movie than she did in the first. But unlike the other security guard, Phil doesn't get horribly castrated. He actually just joins the toys and now he's evil. And Tracy Scoggins has to plug his ass. Yeah, kinda had it coming. Then that damn robot blows her away. Ah, damn it. For the kill count, between them and the stupid bum that cracked his head open, it's the only death you're gonna get in this movie. Oh, don't forget the spider and all the toys. Besides, there's no need to kill him, because most of them are already dead inside. Yeah, well, I'm not gonna count the demonic toys, because, you know, they just die and get regenerated. And technically, I don't even know. Like, last time, they slowly got possessed by the demon aura, but now this time, they just went... This time they just kind of got beamed on board like Star Trek style. But yeah, three humans and a spider. I miss my old baby oopsie daisy. This new one's just kind of unsettling. <laughs> yeah, they kidnap Nish Ginger and I guess the new plan is The master says it's gonna go inside me. And bang the doll chick here. And the new plan isn't a whole lot different than the old plan from Demonic Toys. She'll have a kid and finally the master will have the body he made. Baby Oopsie Daisy wants to bump Nasty with Nurse Ginger. Little prick, basically, is what he says. And you know what? He is a little prick. Yeah, yeah, I have to admit it. Those scenes are a little awkward, but oh well. I like the giant versions of the toys. Dollman has a cool fight scene with the G.I. Joe. It's not much different than when they fought the giant Teddy in the first movie. I don't mind giant Jack in the Box, but he kind of reminds me of those inflatable things you put in your lawn during Halloween. Then Baby Oopsie Daisy, it's like something that you'd see on stage fighting Guar. The plan isn't much different than it was in the demonic toys. I mean, except for there's no ghost kids, the demon master himself never actually appears. He's just gonna possess Baby Oopsie Daisy and they're gonna get it on with Nurse Ginger. But why would they possess Baby Oopsie Daisy? I mean, is like, was that the plan the whole time? How did they know that Dollman was gonna show up and bring 
Nurse Ginger. Is Baby Oopsie Daisy gonna try and get it on with Judith? Cause that would have been even more awkward, I guess. And you'd think she'd just kick him in his little baby balls. And his transformation's pretty anticlimactic, honestly. I'm changing. Oh. But anyways, as you would guess, Dollman just kind of kicks the shit out of all the demonic toys pretty easily. Almost too easily, honestly. And then here you go, you got a conclusive ending to three different movies, and the parts that were original and uh, not so rapey were very fun. Yeah, but you know what? I just, I remember this movie being so epic when we were young. Back in the 90s when I, we used to watch it together. Yeah. Well, like I said, time riff changed things up. And now it's a little out of place. You know, about that time riff. I really liked that idea and it calmed me down a bit, but I want to need some proof. Like, how do you know that a time riff did this? All right, well, remember those uh, bear books that we used to read? You know, no girls allowed, and they always learned a weird lesson. Yeah, the Berenstein Bears. Yeah, Berenstein, right? Yeah, but you know, it was like spelled Berenstein. We always thought that was kind of cool, like Frankenstein. Yeah. Spelled like Frankenstein, right? Yep. Well, about that. See, it's not the Berenstein Bears anymore. Or the Berenstein Bears. What do you mean? See, now it's the Berenstain Bears. Heh, <laughs> that's stupid. No way it's Berenstain Bears. That, 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 that can't be right. Here, I got something I need to show you. Here, check this out. Oh, here, let me click that. There you go. Keep reading. Ah! 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 Time riff confirmed! Uh -huh. Time riff confirmed! The end is near! Calm down! No! <laughs> <coughs> Alright, well, time curve time riff confirmed. See, that's why your nose is different. Cut! Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you thought about the movie or any of these four movies that we've recently reviewed. And uh, don't forget to ring that bell for notifications on all things horror. Well, anyways. Let's give a uh, Monster Face a vacation. Uh, I'll get Lols to come in and help out next month, and perhaps we'll unlock some other characters. Thanks for watching.